Welcome back. Well, until now, superstar Rajinikanth had been in the news for two things. A political game changer or because of the new release of his films bigger and better than his previous ones. Now, his health is making headlines, but fans don't have to worry. Doctors say he is doing well. Rajinikanth is back in hospital for the third time in three weeks. The 60-year-old star was suddenly hospitalized on the 29th of April, the day shooting for his latest film, Rana, was launched. On the 29th of April, he was admitted to St. Isabel Hospital for dehydration, allergic bronchitis and high fever. On the 4th of May, he was then readmitted at St. Isabel Hospital. On the 10th of May, he was discharged and advised a month's rest. But on Saturday, he was hospitalized at Sri Ramachandra Medical Centre. The hospital says Rajni has been admitted for tests for his recurrent respiratory infection and gastrointestinal problems and would require a three-day stay. He is not in the ICU. Superstar is known to be physically fit and treks to the Himalaya several times every year. Doctors want Rajni to take a break and advised him complete rest and his fans are praying for a quick recovery of their superstar. In Chennai, Sanjay Pinto, NDTV. On to some national news now. Well, the BJP's Karnataka crisis managers have managed to get 11 rebel MLAs to fax letters of support to the Yadirappa government. Senior Karnataka leader Dhananjaya Kumar held a press conference where he displayed copies of the relevant faxes sent to the governor HR Bharadwaj. The BJP is now insisting on an assembly session tomorrow. And on to news uh, from neighbouring Kerala, well, senior Congress leader Uman Chandi is set to be the new Chief Minister of Kerala. The newly elected Congress MLAs met in Thiruvananthapuram and elected Chandi their leader. They also passed a resolution asking Congress President Sonia Gandhi to name the Chief Minister. The Congress-led United Democratic Front has won 72 seats in the 140-member Kerala Assembly. And Mamta Banerjee has begun putting the euphoria of her emphatic victory behind her and she's got down to the business of governance. She has invited the Congress and the SUCI to be part of the government in Bengal and sources told us that the Congress is keen to join. Mamta Banerjee is expected to meet Congress President Sonia Gandhi and Prime Minister Manmohan Singh tomorrow to invite them for swearing in and to hold further discussions on formation of the new government. Sources have also told us that since Mamta will resign as Railways Minister, Trinamool will retain the portfolio. Mukul Roy is likely to get that post. Meanwhile, CPM leader Gautam Deb has rubbish reports that the outgoing Chief Minister Buddha Deb Bhattacharji is the quitting the Politburo. Only the state committee meetings have been convened on 17th, Vimanga after coming back from the Politburo. Then we will discuss again. That I cannot say. A lot of speculation going on about how we will fix the policy. This is rubbish. To me, it seems to be rubbish. This is NDTV Hindu's late night news. Nadal has a new rival on court. Find out who will clash with the South Pole and the Room Masters when we come back.